All right, starting off with some Saturday footage here. You see the nice ocean in the background. These are the 8 a.m. games, me and Casey uh, against uh, Ashwin and <clears throat> Ryan. You can see Ashwin and I are both wearing Sprite shorts. I really want Sprite to sponsor me. But yeah, we got those for $5 each at a Kobe swap meet flea market. I call it the flea market. Ashwin doesn't like it when I call it that, but that's that's what it's called on Google. So kind of an, a crazy handset there. Good job. That's like, uh, I'm thinking I gotta deep dish that one. I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about later, maybe. Okay. Ah, oh, Casey was there. Nice try. He's always got his little fist pokey. There it is again. Old deck she loves a little different. And, oh, right in the 10 foot line. That's great. Casey got her new sunglasses. Oh, right over her. Okay, let's see, where's she gonna put it? A high line, perfect. It's so nice. Of course they thought it was out. They didn't even move for it at one point. I think Ashwin could have got there if he thought it was in. Okay, he pokes it. I put it up. Um, Yeah, we probably shouldn't have scored on that. It was a pretty uh, slow shot, bad shot by me, but you get rewarded. Ooh, that was a crazy option. Although he thought, Ryan thought it was out. I think it might have been out, but I watched it in slow motion and it wasn't actually that clear, so... Tough, tough. Pretty good then. Oh, and that hits the outside of the line. And I tell Casey there, yeah, that's on me. I shouldn't have been up. Ashwin was never going to swing from that far. Okay, nice. We keep the ball in play. Good set to Ryan on the right. Okay, put it up. Put it up a little tight. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, so that, that play, that's the one I was talking about. You couldn't see me in the camera, but basically... I thought it was hard driven enough to take overhand, so I it, and it came off a little doubly. But you're allowed to if it's hard driven, you're allowed to um, you're allowed to uh, double it or uh, <clears throat> deep dish it. And then uh, I mean, but everyone didn't know the rules that well. Um, let me know if you think it was hard driven enough. Oh, there I don't know what was going on, but yeah, let me know if you think that other shot that Ryan hit at me was hard driven enough uh, to warrant uh, you know the overhand dig. Okay. Peel, peel, peel. Although my body's got to be turned into the court when I'm peeling, I think. But um, I don't. I, I got to think about more about why it matters that much. Oh, and he. It was a long point, and Ashwin barely gets the block, barely touches the the tape there, or the, the sideline. Nice back set by Ryan. And a great power pokey. Yeah, and I just get a bad contact on it. I didn't expect all that. Game point. It's usually why I jumper, unless I'm up a lot. <laughs> and then they get that. And I, I accused him of hitting the antenna, but it did not. It just hit the tape. <clears throat> I think that's... Okay, no, never mind. I thought that was game. Okay, let's see. That's a good That's a good swing on that set. That's a good swing on that set. Okay, good pickup. Good set. Ooh. Oh, and I, you know, I ran a little slow. Like, I, if I just put a little more gas in the tank... You know, kicked on the afterburners, I would have got there in time. I just thought I could do it. So Casey actually didn't touch it the first time, so it was legal. She got it the second time. And that's a block touch there, so it's legal. It's still in play. Kind of miraculous. Where's Ryan going to put it? Okay, kinda, he went for like the cross angle, or I guess line for him. And I went for the bounce straight down because she gave me a pretty good set. But I I mean, I tried to hit it straight down, but I just hit the tape. And we won anyway, though. It's kind of not how you want to see it, though. Would have been way more hype. Um, so that was like the one of the first games of the day. And then this is me and OC on the left. OC is Casey's former teammate from France when they played, I guess, pro in France. Um, and that's Alex and Casey on the right. Um, yeah, OC's pretty good. She plays middle, apparently. Um, her name's actually Océane, like ocean in French. But I was calling her that, and she said, no, 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 call me OC. I don't know if I was mispronouncing it or what. Anyway. Um, oh wow, yeah, she got me there, peeling down the line. She does that so well, better than most people. Oh yeah, and the camera got pointed down, so I, I just cropped out all the footage where you can't see anything. So that's why some of these games are missing a lot. It's all right. <laughs> and I just kept hitting these like funky little shots against these two. Um, nice pickup, OC. <clears throat> okay. 
Oh no, Miss Combs. I heard her say mine pretty softly, but then I was like, oh, but it, it really is mine. And then that, that's what we get. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there it came off the, I was gonna block it, then it came off the tape and I thought it would dribble, so I put my arms down. And then you got this weird looking hit, okay. Yeah, I know the camera's a little far down here, so I don't think there's too much of this footage. But I just wanted to, nice, nice. Hope we get some of OC's good swings. Okay, maybe here. Yeah, that's, okay. They're hitting the tape, but almost. Oh, and then Alex just bounces it straight down. Okay, not too much of that footage then. Oh my god. I can't believe Alex did that to me. <laughs> yeah, Ashwin was... Ashwin's passing suffers sometimes. And the rest of his game is so good. I really, like, I think a lot of people need better passing, but uh, that's a great shot by Alex. But yeah, so, uh, you know, the Sprite Boys, we don't lose. But we struggle sometimes, definitely, with passing. But in general, if I'm on the right side, I'm not taking the game quite as seriously. If I'm on the left, it's a little more serious. I've, I've just, uh, I was thinking about it, and um, I mean, on the right, you need better sets to hit well. On the left, you can have, oh, that was barely out, but it was really good. Um, on the right, you need better sets to hit well, because uh, it's going to your right shoulder, across your body. Versus on the left, um, on the left, you can see more of the court, and you can work with worse sets. So, so if you have a, a worse setter and a better hitter, like, in general, the worst setter should probably play right side, I think, just because then the, the better hitter can still work on the left side. Um, anyway, so that also translates to passing and stuff. But, um, oh, wow, okay. Right outside the pin. Let's see. So there was a drop of water. Oh, wow, look at that. What a good pickup by Ashwin. And then I lose that little, it's annoying. But that was great by Ashwin because Alex absolutely pounded that ball. Yeah, there's a little drop of water in the camera lens. Oh, wow. Nice shot, Steve. Oh, yeah. So that's, sorry, that's Steve with Alex on the left there. Um, Steve is like 30. I used to play with him in the afternoons and stuff. He came out today because his group bailed on him. He's a cool guy. Ooh, Ashwin, you got to seal that line. I remember I told him that. I say probably called pin here. I'm going to go high line. You get the point. High line always looks so good until it doesn't. Nice get by nice get by those guys. Where am I gonna put it? Cuddy? Cuddy the other way. Okay. <laughs> Alex always gets so mad. It's so funny. Oh wow. Good hit by Steve. Yeah, Steve, uh, if you haven't noticed, he loves hitting line. Handset was a little slow by me. Um I don't know, my hand setting has been feeling a little weird the past few days. I don't know what's going on with me. I feel like I have it in my head that I want to do it faster, and so then I just get give people worse handsets. I got lucky on that. Should Steve get there? He did. Oh, that would have been great by Alex. I mean, if you watch the replay in slow mo, he was going for a very hard, uh, very hard hit. It was very hard. Uh, it was off and low, and he was close. Okay, good Ashwin. <laughs> way to way to do that. That see, that's I I try to go for that play a lot. You know, because I think that's a good pattern there, but I often mess it up, so I, I'm glad Ashwin got that conversion. I think I was hitting really good uh, cuts and stuff today. Okay. I told Ashwin to go joust, and he did. Made me proud. Sprite boys never lose. Okay. Skyball? I guess it was point. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe he was just feeling himself. Nice. Oh yeah, it was point. Yeah, and beautiful, beautiful high line, right on the right on the line. No one was gonna get that ever, even if they knew. So yeah, that was that game. It was a good game. Okay, then it's um me and Ashwin Sprite Boys again against uh, Craig and Patrick. And Patrick, oh there he barely field goals him. <clears throat> Patrick is just so casually good. We were laughing about it. I mean, he's got if you look at him, he's about my height, about six foot. But he's got um he's got a really fast arm swing, good top spin. I mean he jumps pretty well, sets pretty well. Like he's just a good player, but he's so um casual about it and stuff. It's hilarious. Oh, I I uh yeah I passed it bad. Okay. High line? No, I went for the swing. I got the point. Yeah, see whenever I swing into the tape, it angles the camera down. So we lost the rest of that footage. Luckily we have a lot of footage.
I'm still, I guess I got to just tighten the bolt more or something. I got to think about it some more. Nice set. Oh, wow. I almost got that. I knew what was happening. Okay, a little bump set. Not too bad. Good shot, Steve. A hey, good shot, actually. Rare to catch Jake on something like that. Jake the snake. He's a first knuckler. I think he saw my video last time because he mentioned something about first knuckles, second knuckles the other day. Anyway. Ooh, the disgusting cutty. It actually got even sharper because it hit the, hit the tape and turned a little. That's a crazy shot by Jake. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, I'm not there. I'm not there. I thought he was going to go deep again. Oh, nice set. I go for the high line. Some pace. Maybe not even high line. Maybe just line. Oh, and Luca barely gets that nice tape shot or line shot. By that, I mean he hit the line. Oh, and it blocks out. Very lucky for us. Oh, bad pass. Yeah, terrible pass. Right in the corner. I think that was actually just Jake that netted. I think Steve was out of the net. Um, but yeah, that's so, sorry. That's Jake and Luca on the right. Jake's in the t-shirt. Luca's in the uh, synthold up muscles muscle shirt, probably. But yeah, so Steve and Luca and I used to play a while ago. Steve was saying Luca's gotten a lot better, and I agree. I thought Luca. I mean. I used to think of him as like, you know, he could swing on good sets and stuff, but like he didn't have like the smartest game and stuff. But no, I mean, he's uh he's he's pretty he's pretty smart where he puts the ball and stuff. Um he's got really good uh tips and stuff, good shot placement. He reads the defense well. Like that shot's good. Um yeah, no, he's a good player. Great, Steve. Great. Knuckles. Nice get by Steve there. Steve's defense is pretty good. I mean, he I think he's he probably reads better than almost all of us. I felt like because there were a lot of shots where I felt like uh, most people I play with don't necessarily they're not even there, and Steve would be there often, so he he could see it. <laughs> Crazy back knuckle. Cut no, just deep angle. Yeah, I remember Steve called high line, which would have also been good, honestly. Um, that was probably my best jumbo of the day. Oh, I can't believe Luca gets that. And this is ridiculous. Yeah, he hits it in down the line. Very nice, very nice play by those boys. Nice set, Steve. Oh my god. Actually, so it was a bit of a double, which is why we, we stopped the play. That might have been my, one of my best swings of the day. It was too bad it wasn't uh, in play, technically. Nice, Steve. Great poke. Great way to not net. I mean, he was doing a great job with that. I think Steve's like 6-1. Sounds about right. Okay, let's see. Ooh, nice little high line to, to end the game. No, no, not yet. Um, speaking of, uh, I was just thinking about, oh, nice hit, Luca. I was thinking about uh, arm span and stuff. I had lunch or brunch with a guy yesterday who was 5'10 with a 6'4 wingspan. Nice hit, Steve. And I didn't believe him at first, but then he got up and, like, it's like, holy cow, this guy's arms are so long. Um, it was ridiculous. So that's, I mean, I have, I've never seen something like that. It was kind of cool. I feel like it's good in, like, volleyball and stuff, like, we shouldn't even talk about people's heights, but just their standing reach, really, right? Because that's, I mean, you don't, it's not like you hit the ball with your head, right? You hit it with your arms, with your hands. Oh, that was out. I think I called it in. Nice. Great get. Oh, too bad. See, that's why Highline always claims the victims, right? Because even if you get there, it's so hard to get a great touch. And the blockers got to turn around and put it up for you. Like, there's a lot of components that need to go right. And we won the point there. Um, I missed talking about, basically, there was a point earlier where I jump served it and Luca kind of, or Jake kind of shanked it out. But I, I thought it, basically, we were arguing about whether uh, it was legal because Luca ran under the net to get it. But the ruling there is it has to, uh, the ball has to, if, like, if you shank it, it has to travel outside the antennas. But there were no antennas, first of all. And then it also has to travel back to your court outside of the antennas again so your teammate can hit it, right? 
So I don't think that bo both those things had happened, but we didn't really have the camera angle to determine it. But anyway, here's me and Steve against uh, Patrick and Alex. I don't think Steve and I dropped any games. Nice, a little recycle. Good get by Patrick, though. Oh, wow. I thought Alex had me there. I tried to go high line. And he, I mean, he gets up there. Six foot seven, reasonably long arms. Um, he just didn't get the touch he wanted. See, Steve's always in the right spot, I feel like. Great shot. Jumbo's the big man. Let's see. Wow. Yeah, so that was crazy. I feel like uh, Patrick has a deceivingly fast arm swing. Okay. Recycled the ball. Oh, my God. I go for such a bad option there. I got rewarded, but I, I'm mad I got rewarded. I shouldn't have been. It was terrible. I don't know what's gotten into me recently. I've just started doing a lot more of those, and I don't like it. I need to stop. Okay. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. It's a nice hit. Oh, no. I mean, he gave me such a great set. I, I was like, I'm going to just try to swing out here. Maybe I can eke it line, and I just got stuffed. Okay, the ball's still in play. He goes for... Maybe maybe he was going for high line. I don't know exactly what that was. Okay, bump set. Good. He, he adjusted into the middle. That's good. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was I was just debating between uh, that right-handed sort of push I did. Oh wow, what a what a! I think Alex punched that almost. Um, but yeah, it's always a debate, like because if you're right-armed and the ball's, you know, in front of you. I mean, basically, you have the choice of the right-handed swipe sometimes or like a left-handed poke. I don't really know which is better when, but anyway, I guess if you can reach it with both, the right's probably better. Yeah, that pass was way too high. I mean, you can see how long it took to come back down. Oh, no. That set's so tight. Yeah. Alex always tries to bounce those balls. Oh, right to him. Bad by me. I'll go up. Good, Steve. Good. Oh. Crazy little jump set. Yeah. That's on me. I needed to get a little better offense on his touch because he gave me such a great touch. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if Alex's reception there is fully legal. We got the point anyway, though. And we won that game. All right, I'll put my shirt back on. This is me and Vincent on the right. That's probably my best swing with Vincent against Eric and uh, Alex. You can see the wind was blowing really bad this afternoon. Like, look at how far the net. I don't know why our net in particular was moving this far to the left, but it was almost impossible to block on that side of that netting. Like, yeah, I mean, you see, like, it's just so bulged out. Um... Yeah, I mean, even there, I net a little bit. I don't think I felt it in the game. I had my shirt on. Um, yeah, but it was, I don't know. As soon as the wind kicks up like this, I feel like I play so bad. <laughs> Definitely got a little drunk. Okay, I was trolling a little bit there. So we deserved what, what came to us. Oh, see, I, I, was, I wasn't blocking well either. It just felt like the game, my game deteriorated so fast. Nice hit, Vincent. Nice hit. Yeah, me and Vincent, Alex, and Eric. Ooh, Eric got a touch on that, I think. It's a nice pass. Yeah, and then, I mean, the ball came to me fast, and I guess I should have deep dished it and gone for the play, but I, I was trying to do the Taylor Crab thing where sometimes he just, uh, you know, pushes the ball into the open spot on the other court when it's too hard driven at his face. Nice swing, Vincent. Okay, looks like we're nearing the end of the clips. Um, but yeah, I got Sunday and Monday footage coming up in the pipeline soon. So fret not that we missed out. All right, fret not. Well, last clip here, I think. Stuff block. All right, how fitting, right? How fitting. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.